<laughs> On the 6th of March, we met with the Scottish Cabinet to follow up from our very first meeting last year. The first thing we did at the Cabinet was to explain that we were children's human rights defenders. This question is on behalf of the children from Zimbabwe that couldn't be here today. A children's human rights defender is a child who sticks up for not only their own rights but other children's as well. That infringes upon various children's rights. The thing that we mainly brought to the cabinet was that the United Nations Convention's rights were the things that kept children happy, healthy and safe. We also recommended that they raise more awareness of children's rights among children and adults. This year we were also mentoring three brand new children's parliament members and next year they will be mentoring another group of children to be in cabinet. At the cabinet meeting, me and Hannah talked about relationships. We covered bullying and how sometimes teachers are quick to jump to the conclusion that everything is bullying and sometimes that makes matters worse. This year, we met with children in care to find out about their experiences and what they've been through. The children felt that social workers were making decisions without the children's interference. There were decisions being made behind their backs they should respect the children's privacy and one of the things that came out of it was that social workers should take their badges off when they come into schools. We were the youngest people at the cabinet and that felt quite good because you knew that you wouldn't be there if you weren't there for a reason so it felt you were quite important because not many people would get the opportunity to sit at a table with some of the most important people in Scotland. I really enjoyed it because they didn't treat me any differently than any of the other people that were there. I found it quite nerve wracking, but they were easy to talk to because they listened to you and they looked like they understood and they all paid like good eye contact to you. It was first name terms like Nicola and John and everyone was just being extremely nice. There was no phones in the meeting and that made a difference because it wasn't Adults weren't getting distracted because I'm pretty sure that they would have had quite a lot of text during the meeting, but they all had their phones on silent or in their bags at the side. A few of the recommendations were to involve children in teacher training, to make sure that guys and girls are treated fairly, and most importantly, being unfairly.